How's it going guys? Brian back here with a uh, look at NVIDIA. Alright, this thing is, uh, right now it's down 18.84 for the day. 4.3%. Uh, it looked like it was going to possibly bounce out of here the other day. Started getting a pretty decent run here. Went up from 4.11 up uh, uh, 4.36. Okay, now what we were looking for here was uh, an ABC down. Okay, we took a measurement here. Right about to there. I apologize. Let me get my glasses on here so I can see. There we go. Definitely helps out. Right to there. And bring this down on top. All right, we're roughly looking. Actually, this should be up just a hair. Apologize. Right about you know, around the 390 area. You know, we got to get there, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, some uh, person commented in the comments, made a very good point that there's a very, very good support right down here. And there is a very good down at the, right around 409. Uh, you can see it there, bounce there. And we'll see if this ABC plays out or not. Let's take a look at the RSIs. You know, and overall, we were looking for a, uh, a five wave up here, you know, right here. Let me open this up some. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now let's look at some RSIs. We got the weekly. Weekly still rolling over. It's at a six and an eleven. Uh, we got the daily uh, turning up, uh, curving down here on the on the bottom. But we got some bullish divergence going on here. All right, we pull this up. Uh, you see here. Let me enlarge this. So you can see it. All right, right here. We have this low, and we have a higher low right there. All right, now price action up here. I apologize, all the support and resistance lines, but we got a lot going on in here. A lot of uh, support and resistance areas going on, so you kind of need them in there close to price action. So you don't want to have a bunch of lines on your charts and get confused, but uh, we got a lot of. Uh, price action going on in here a lot of bouncing around so we got this bullish divergence on the bottom and up here on price you have this low right there and you have a same low then down here you have higher lows so you got bullish divergence on the daily uh, you got the daily RSI looking like it wants to roll over a little bit here okay could come back down and touch that line on the bottom down there on the uh, on the regular RSI, so could pull back a little bit, yeah, right, maybe back down uh, to that 410. We might get down, uh, you know, to that 390 level. Now the 12 hour, you can see it's it's about the same spot here. If we go down to the four, the four is bearish at a 46 and a 51. All right, so are we getting, you know, are we getting a small? One, two, three, four, five waves down here. Very possible. You know, you can see something playing out in here. You know, and overall, this would be a big ABC. But you have Elliott waves and everything, too. And it, it looks like possibly a, a fifth wave down here. All right, now we'll get the whole way down here. The, the measurement I'm getting, okay, if we take it, like I said, if we take it from the top to the bottom for this ABC, Usually they play out one for one. You know, giving me a target, 392, 32, right around there. So we got to hit it. I, we'll have to just wait and see. But after that, I'm expecting this thing to really bounce out of here. Uh, the video looks strong, you know. It, uh, and then get a fifth wave out of here. And then what kind of target would that give us? You know, usually you take your, uh, you know, and if you don't know how to do this stuff, guys, I have a level three membership. Over seven hours of videos to teach you how to do this stuff. You know, we're in all time high territory. So, a wave four, you would take your fib, take it from the low to the bottom. You know, a target for this would be up around 562. That'd be your first area. You know, because we're an unknown area here. We're up, uh, you know, we're getting up um, in the areas where we don't have any support and resistance up here. You know, and uh, overall, you know, if we get that off 562, you know, overall we, we would be looking at a one, two, three, four, five to 562. That said, you know, we'll see if we get it. You know, we'll just keep it right about there for now. 
All right, so expecting a small pullback here and then expecting the video to bounce. Yeah, not financial advice, guys, not a financial advisor, but that weekly is about reset. Uh, you got that bullish divergence on the daily, um, you know, looking for a bounce pretty soon, possibly pull back a few bucks. We're at 417 now, you know, if we get that pull down to 392, um, you know, what is that, 20 bucks, something like that, $25. So we'll see if it happens or not. But uh, like I said, small pullback, then we should we should get a decent bounce out of here. Thanks a lot, guys. Please hit the like and subscribe. I'd appreciate that very, very much. I love all the comments and uh, um, thank you so much. And I appreciate everybody's insight, you know, nobody... Uh, is 100% right at this stuff, and you know, it just don't happen. We got a big gap here, too. You'd expect to get filled sometime, you know, between 316 and 366. Wow, big gap. Um, usually, them get filled, so uh, we'll keep an eye on this in the future, you know, right through here. It's uh, usually them gaps get filled sometime. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll talk to you soon.